I keep it juicy, juicy. I eat that lunch. Mm. Yeah. She keep that booty, booty. She keep that pump. Yeah. Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's Ty, aka Glam by Ty. And today I have a beginner friendly video on a closure wig. Yes, a closure wig with the frontal effect. So it looks like it's a lace front, but in reality it's a closure. Okay, so for the wig that I'm using, it is from Victoria's Wig. I have a video on their hair before, so if you didn't go check that out, it'll be linked below. But let's get into the video. Unboxing, they gave me um, a wig cap. They gave me two wig caps. Of course, one of them is what I have on my head. And they gave me a darker one. They gave me a little bag with some goodies in it. You got a rat tail comb. You know, that comes in handy for when them wigs be itching. They gave me a head wrap that comes good for laying your lace down and an edge brush. So now, as far as the wig, this is a 5x5 five five lace closure wig. So as y'all can see, um, I did go on ahead and bleach the knots and pluck it myself. That's how wide of a parting space you get with this wig. Now, it is very, very full. So that comes in handy if you're doing different styles. My thing is with closure wigs is how they're constructed. So as y'all can see, this one has four combs in total. It has the two on the sides, the one in the back, and the one all the way at the bottom. It did come with an adjustable strap, which I love. It's like a bra strap, and you can actually tighten it to however you need it. So I got a little teeny tiny head, so I'm adjusting the straps to my head size, and I'm plopping the wig on. Now, this is just what the wig looks like initially. Like I said, all I did was pluck and bleach the knots. This wig is 20 inches long, so it works for me. I'm just so nervous about closure wigs, and you guys will see, but this wig actually was perfect to do the frontal effect because it's a 5x5 five five lace, so you get more parting on this lace than you do with a normal closure wig. Okay, so what you see me doing here is just adding a little bit of makeup to my wig cap. The reason why I do this is because the cap is a little bit lighter than my skin tone. For some reason, they don't sell a wig cap that matches my skin tone perfectly. So we got to improvise with a little bit of makeup. So boom, now that we um, added some makeup to our wig cap, we're gonna put the wig back on. And what you guys see me doing here is I'm basically just securing all the combs. So it is a little bit difficult to wear these wigs, especially for me, because I have a little head. The tabs are kind of over my ears just a little bit and that makes it annoying. But for someone who has a bigger head than I do, you probably won't have the problem that I had. Here I'm just taking a brown eyeliner pencil and this is something that I've been doing lately. So because the lace is transparent, I'm just gonna put dots on where I want the wig to lay. Now it's gonna transfer over onto my forehead as you can see and that just helps my beginners and it helps me to know where I'm going to be laying this wig. So now once I have all of my three dots of where I'm laying the wig, I'm gonna take my new friend, which is the Got To Be Glued Styling Spiking Gel. Now this is the white one, not the clear one, okay? And this one is water resistant, so that's why I've been using it lately. And I've been using that with a combo of my free spray, and it's actually been laying the shit out of my wigs. So that actually helped. I am using this little white spatula tool to spread the gel on. Now you know when you use your fingers, it creates heat and it just gets messy and it's sticky and you don't got time for all of that. So I'm putting it on a spatula and then I'm applying it to where I want the wig to lay. Now this is where the dots come in handy because I don't have to go over where I want the wig to lay. Um, I could just apply the glue how I want it to be and it could just lay exactly where I need it to be.
Now I'm gonna blow dry it. I blow dried it until it turned clear. This is very important because it's white, sis. So if you put the wig on and it's not clear, what do you think is gonna happen to your lace? It's gonna turn white. Now, I did do about maybe two to three layers of the um, spiking gel. The reason why I do this is because I don't want my wigs to fall off. I do wear my wigs overnight. Now, for someone who's just doing a quick style, you don't even have to do this many layers. You could have did one layer of the spiking gel, one layer of the free spray, and you would have been good to go. Now, once we blow dried all of our layers and it's clear, I'm going to take my got to be free spray and y'all know this is my go to. I still have to use it. I'm using it to spray on top of the gel and then rubbing it in with my finger. You'll see that I go back and forth with this between my finger and the white little spatula that I had. This is just like, I don't know. This is just something that I was doing <laughs> and I feel like it gave me more control with the free spray because y'all know that that's runny as hell. also blow dry that and it's time to tack our wig on so here's why we made the dots i'm gonna connect the dots literally that first middle dot i'm connecting it to the dot that's on my forehead and blow drying it so if you connect your dots your wig should lay where your glue is exactly at and you won't have to do anything extra you won't have any lifting or anything like that Here I'm taking my Lotta Body um, wrapping foam and I'm going to spray that on a hairline and then comb the hair into how I want it. Now this played a big part because I felt like this is later on in the video you'll see but this is the reason why I didn't do any baby hairs. It turned out so good so I'm taking my Victoria's um, headband and I'm just going to use that to secure our lace. So sis, this is prior to me cutting the excess lace off. It looks like my scalp. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. Doesn't it look like a lace front, but in reality, it's just a five by five closure. I already went on ahead and straightened the wig. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I cut the lace off. I'm starting all the way on the end. And now if you pay attention, sis, you will see that I am cutting in a zigzag motion. Nobody's hairline is first of all, a straight hairline, okay? Everybody has like, you know, some indent hair, some indentations there. You, Your hairline is customized to you. So to make mine look like that, I cut in zigzag motions and I feel like it's a way better option than cutting in a straight line. Because I don't have an electrical hot comb, I like to take my curling wand and just smooth everything out. It is on 410 degrees, so it's super hot. Please do not burn yourself when you're doing this, but just improvise. If you don't have a hot comb, use what you got, sis. Okay, so sis, this is their silky straight texture. And when I mean silky straight, it's bone straight. It's not going anywhere. So I just wanted to show you guys what the hairline looks like without any baby hairs. Because at this moment is when I was debating to do baby hairs or not. And some just told me like, sis, you don't got to lay baby hairs every time. Go a day without wearing baby hairs. And because this hairline looks so good, I just decided not to go with baby hairs. Thank you. 
So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out Victoria's wig and give this video a thumbs up for more installs. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.